Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. In today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at what the new DLC vehicles, cars, and more are going to look like in-game. So with the help of some mods, we are able to actually load up these vehicles in-game that are, in some cases, almost identical copies to what we're going to be seeing on Tuesday when the Doomsday Heist DLC does arrive in Grand Theft Auto Online. So the vehicles you see in this video are in the exact order in which they appear in the Grand Theft Auto Online trailer, so do keep that in mind. And the first vehicle we're going to be looking at today is the Akula. Now the Akula is based off of the Comanche, the RAH-66, and this is a crazy attack helicopter. So this is what it looks like right here. Uh, in the trailer we saw that it was pretty well weaponized, it looked to be a four-seater, and it was pretty massive as well. I'm going to take a, a really good guess and say this is going to be the competitor to the Hunter. So Rockstar had a really good attack helicopter in the last update, Smuggler's Run. And it looks like they're going to be counterbalancing it in this update as well, or at least adding another option. So now you've got like the Buzzard, you've got the Savage, you have the Hunter, and now you'll have the Akula as the ones you'll ultimately need to choose from. So as I mentioned earlier, this helicopter is pretty awesome. It is massive, and I feel like that's one of the first few things you're going to notice with the Akula when you get it on Tuesday, is that it's pretty big as well. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys the speed or the maneuverability, but this one was fairly quick for the most part, so I wonder if it'll be a little bit more nimble than the Hunter. One of the things that is the downside of that vehicle is it isn't the most nimble of helicopters, so we will see when that date arrives, but that right there is the RAH-66 Comanche, which is the Akula, one of the helicopters we're going to be seeing in this update. After that, we have the Impante Deluxo, which is based off of the DeLorean DMC-12. So I am so excited for this vehicle to be added into the game. Now, I think Rockstar is going to make this a sports classic vehicle. I don't think this is going to be a sports car, and I don't think it's going to be a muscle car. However, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work when it comes to transforming into the flying missile shooting option. I wonder if there's going to be like a regular Deluxo, and then if there's going to be like a weaponized upgradable one that we have to choose. Or is just the Deluxo going to be one weaponized option that you just have to pick and choose upgrades from in either the MOC or some sort of other platform in order to upgrade it. But regardless, I still think this is going to be pretty awesome. I am so excited for this vehicle and its ability to finally be able to be added into the game. I've been waiting since Vice City to get this vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. So I'm very excited about the Deluxo. The only thing about it is I just have a ton of questions regarding how it's actually going to work and how its vehicle status is going to be in game. Vehicle number three today is that Osprey VTOL vehicle. Now this one is really cool as well and I've actually installed this mod that you can see is almost identical to what we're going to be getting. And just like the one in game, this mod is also VTOL so I can go from vertical flight mode to horizontal flight mode which is really awesome. Now this vehicle was interesting when it was showed off in the trailer they showed off a scene right after it that had us interacting on the interior just like it was kind of the sky MOC. So I wonder if that was just a cutscene or if indeed this is going to have like aerial MOC features which I think would be pretty cool. Now if it does have that I wouldn't imagine this vehicle being able to go very fast, just kind of like the MOC that we have from gun running. So that's something to keep in mind that if it does have all those abilities in the back, it might not be the swiftest of vehicles. So just keep that in mind when operating this vehicle. But still, I am in love with the VTOL features. And this one's really cool. With the Hydra, you don't really see anything happening. But with this, you can clearly tell the propellers going from vertical to horizontal. And that just looks really cool, in my opinion. So definitely excited for this vehicle. After that, we've got our second land vehicle today, and that is the missile launcher kind of truck. So remember, we talked about this in one of the videos I did the other day. It's actually based off of the RM10, and this is going to be so much fun to be able to use. So it looked like it had 15 missiles attached to it, and I'm not sure if those will reload or if you only get one shot and then you have to go back and refill it. There's a lot of different questions to be asked of this vehicle too. Like, how quick is it? Is it going to require two players in order to operate the gun component on the back? Are you going to be able to operate it while standing still or moving? 
Remember, the only time we saw it in the trailer, it was not moving at all. So once again, something to keep in mind right there. But I do think this is going to be a massive vehicle in terms of aerial destruction of other vehicles and all the other items that you would see in the sky, such as hydras and stuff like that. So who knows? This is going to be a pretty crazy vehicle, but I'm definitely excited for it. And we're going to see how really epic this missile launcher is when it's added into the game on Tuesday. After that, we have the Vulcan Bomber. So this is based off of the Avro Vulcan. I don't know the official name of it. Now, this plane is huge. Now, I don't know if this jet is as big as it is in this mod. I would imagine it's not because this thing is crazy big. But in the trailer, we saw it had the ability to be controlled by dual turrets. So I'm assuming this is going to be a two-seater jet at a minimum. It also has the ability to drop bombs. I'm pretty excited about this. Rockstar added a lot of aircrafts and jets and smugglers run. So I understand why this might not be all that exciting for certain players. But I think this is going to be a pretty cool jet. Maybe it'll be a competitor to the Hydra. Maybe it'll be a competitor to, uh, you know, the laser that they just added. Who knows? All I know is I think this is going to be pretty awesome. And this is the new Avro Vulcan that they just introduced in the latest Doomsday Heist trailer. Moving on, we have the underwater version of the Ardent, which is based off of the Lotus from the James Bond film, The Spy That Loved Me. So this is honestly how the Ardent should have been from day one. So I'm really glad that Rockstar has finally decided to add this into the game. Um, I don't know what vehicle this is going to be. I, I legitimately don't know if it's going to be an upgraded version of the Ardent or if it's a completely new vehicle. My gut is telling me that it's a completely new vehicle. And I wonder if this will have the ability to go on land as well. Or if this is like a underwater vehicle only that you have to call via Pegasus and it is delivered at like a dock or something like that. Again, a lot of questions about this vehicle. Is it weaponized too? Or does it only have that submarine ability? I want to say it's weaponized based off of the artwork on the game. You can actually see it shooting a missile at one of the uh, like underwater mines. But again, this Ardent is actually pretty awesome. Very, very excited to be able to check out this on Tuesday as well. Our next vehicle today is that super futuristic tank you actually saw in the trailer, the TMO2 Canali. This is based off of the PL-01. Uh, this is a Polish super tank that is kind of like a concept right now. And this thing is awesome. Now in the trailer, it looked like it was number one, nearly indestructible as it was surviving gunfire from every which direction. But number two, it also looked like it had a rail gun attached to it. So a rail gun tank, that sounds epic in my opinion. So hopefully Rockstar make this thing pretty awesome. It did look pretty speedy from the, you know, two or three seconds we did see it in the trailer. And I wonder how it's going to compete with all the other weaponized vehicles they've added. Uh, you know, obviously it has the regular tank. It has the APC that they added in gun running. So it definitely has a lot of competition. And we'll see how it stacks up to that on Tuesday. But this tank was so awesome just because of its futuristic styling. And it's going to be coming on Tuesday as well. And the final vehicle that I was able to find and be able to show you guys is one I think is coming into the game. It was shown off only briefly, and that is a version of the Ferrari 308. So this was over Lester's right shoulder in one of the screenshots, and I think this might be the front of the Lotus, the underwater Ardent, I think. But I'm not entirely too sure, which is why I've assumed it might be a new vehicle. It might be a Grotti Sports Classic. Kind of based off of the front end, that's what it looks like. But it also could be the front of the Lotus that we see going into the water as we never saw the front of that from the uh, Heist trailer. So this vehicle is pretty cool. I'm all for classic Ferraris. I think that these are always pretty epic. And Rockstar typically do a, a really good job with the classic vehicles that they do add into the game. So that's potentially the Ferrari 308. Now some vehicles I was not able to show off. The first of which was that police 6x6 riot that had like the wedge on the front. It had the water cannons on the top. That is such a unique vehicle that I was trying to look for a couple mods but really couldn't find anything as far as you know how that vehicle actually looked. I also wasn't able to find the off-road trophy truck that was weaponized. Again, I had no clue what I was supposed to search for something like this because a lot of the vehicles in these trailers are very weaponized or modern or futuristic or simply really don't exist in real life. I've only been in like James Bond films and stuff like that, but I wasn't able to find that off-road trophy truck. 
I also wasn't able to find a mod for the submarine. Now, I don't know if this is even going to be an official vehicle that you can drive or if it's going to be kind of like the yacht. It's like a half vehicle, half property, but regardless, couldn't find the submarine. I also couldn't find the jetpack. I really wanted to get a jetpack mod going for you guys, but I'm so excited for the jetpack, having to get it from the depths of Mount Chiliad and bring it out of the top. That is going to be really cool. And then there was a mystery aircraft that was found in the trailer too. I pointed that out in my video the other day, but I was not able to find that either, which was kind of unfortunate. But then again, I didn't even know the type of the aircraft, so being able to try and locate that was going to be a pretty difficult task. But needless to say, those are the vehicles that you can expect on Tuesday and what they look like in-game is kind of a sneak peek to get you guys hyped up. Let me know which vehicle is your favorite in the comment section down below. Now, number one, keep in mind, this probably won't be all the vehicles that we see in the DLC. Those are all the ones we've seen in the trailer, so it's all the ones I can show you guys that exist right now. But still, let me know which one you think is the best in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.